Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Adventure Island 2, a fun little platform game by Hudson Soft. This game stars Master Higgins, as it's been localized to, and he has to get Princess Leilani's sister Tina back from an evil witch doctor, which that's the story according to the the little booklet that came with the game. Uh, there's no witch doctors in this game, and I don't think there ever were. I think they just localized it when they brought it to North America, but who knows. Uh, I know this guy, Mr. Higgins, Master Higgins, whatever. It's really some Japanese guy, it's like some Japanese whatever. I know it's like, uh, there's some story behind it, and I don't remember what it is, so I'm sorry for not remembering. It's been four years since I found out, I don't feel like looking it up again. Now, if you played the first one, you know it's... It's a challenging game. Uh, you basically just run to the right of the screen as fast as you can, collecting fruit and veggies to replenish your timer at the top of the screen. And uh, there's many improvements since the last game. For instance, the ability to ride dinosaurs, 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 and store them in your inventory. Uh, there's several different bonus areas you can go to. Uh, the maps, you've seen there's eight islands, and you always go into the islands in a set order. But the areas you go on the island maps are actually randomized. Uh, you can end up going through only two levels of the map before fighting the boss. All depends on what the game's feeling like. Uh, I kind of like going through the majority of the levels, because it makes it me, makes me feel like I've actually completed the game when it's over. And you get more power-ups that way. And, uh, dinosaurs, there's four different kinds. There's two different kinds of Campusauruses, uh, uh, an Elasmosaurus, and some Pterodactyl thing. And, uh, whoops. The bonus round in the clouds, very much like Mario Brothers 1. Uh, this game has a lot in common with old Mario platformer style games. Because there weren't many other things back then. I mean, this game is old, but it's still good. Uh, one thing I think is disappointing about this game, the music. Although it's good, uh, you pretty much heard every track in the game by the time you're done with the first island. And I don't know why, I guess they just didn't feel like making more than four or five different tracks. Although there are a couple of special themed areas like ice and uh, underwater that have their own theme, but even then, you've heard them probably by that point. Uh, and all the all the islands are themed. There's Fern Island, which is your you know your starter island, and you have uh, Lake Island and Ice Island and Volcano Island and Cloud Island. So this is a lot like Mario 3 in a way, but pretty much easier and probably a lot shorter. I still think the first one was a bit harder than this one, but the bosses in both games are stupidly easy. Now I picked up an Invincibility Fairy, and I can just run through the stages or stage for the very short period of time in which she lasts. There's also uh, an evil eggplant thing that'll follow you around, and that will drain your health, or your, your timer, I guess I should say. Ooh, there's another secret here. Uh, the timer at the top does kind of act like a health meter, because if you run into a rock, let's say, while you're not riding a dinosaur, a chunk of that timer will be removed. And of course, picking up healthy items like fruit and veggies will help bring it back up. Meat and bottles of milk will replenish it fully, which is very good. But they're rare. Now, there are... One of those pterodactyl things, there's one per island, except probably for the last island, that'll let you skip whatever island you're on, which is pretty cool. But for the sake of this Let's Play, I'm not going to use them, because that would just defeat the whole purpose of doing this. Uh-oh. That was close. You couldn't... I think you could only destroy those big boulders in the first game with fireballs, and... There are no fireballs to throw in this game. The dinosaurs kind of do that, and, uh... Three of the dinosaurs have special abilities. This blue Camptosaurus doesn't have anything. I mean, it can... Do the same things as the red one. Oh, there it is. And, uh... But the red one can walk through poison water and lava. And we get the Hudson Bee, which doesn't do anything. 
Usually that dinosaur will give us other dinosaur icons to collect, which uh, will go into your inventory. That is definitely one thing they didn't have in the first game. When you died in the first game, you lost your weapon, and you <laughs> you were screwed after that, especially if you were firing the game. You have no way to defend yourself, you have to take so much time to get through a level that uh, you're pretty much dead in the water. Let's see. I know there's a fly hit. Yep. Now this egg here has that uh, eggplant in it, so I'm not going to open it. There were a lot of those eggplants in the first game, and they kind of went easy on them in this game, which is good, because those things were evil. Especially when you were desperately trying to find uh, meat and other food items and eggs in the first game, and all you got was a bad eggplant that would kill you. That's, that's not good, so... I'm glad they turned that- Whoa! <laughs> that was close, and I got another heart. The four different kinds of dinosaurs are represented by those different cards. Heart is a blue Camptosaurus. I think the red Camptosaurus is a spade. The pterodactyl is a club. And the elasmosaurus is a diamond. And I'll probably call them by their card names rather than their real dinosaur names. Or I don't even know if that's what these dinosaurs would really be called. But they probably made them up, but except for the Pterodactyl Dawn or whatever. I forget. They, they call it Pterodactyl in the book. Whatever. I'm not a dinosaurologist. I really don't... Oh! Oh, come on! That was stupid. That's what I get. Hudson moves probably at half the speed of the dinosaurs, so... When, when the game, when you're trying to go as fast as possible, that's a bad thing. And uh, there are some stages where they'll only give you enough fruit to really get through the end of the end of that stage. And there's some of them where you'll have to sit back and wait for your opportunity to get through things. And when you have to wait in a game that you're timed, it definitely adds a challenge. Although, again, the first one made it much more difficult. It's always one of these choose an egg bonus rounds, except for the ones that have bosses in them after you clear a stage. Uh, the third one, I believe, has the highest chance of getting a 1-up. But you can only get 9 1-ups, and after that, even if you collect one somewhere or get enough points to get one, it doesn't really add it to your total unless you die and go back down to 8 lives. Which kind of stinks, but... I mean, if you have 9 lives, you're in good shape anyway. Now this Elasmosaurus is the only thing that can go in water. You bring the other three dinosaurs here and jump in and they die instantly. Uh, and it doesn't have any other powers other than that. Um, if you bring it on land, it doesn't do anything special. In fact, it's slow and it has crappy jumping, so I wouldn't recommend using it anywhere else. Another interesting thing, if you die on a boss, uh, the boss will actually change locations. It will go to another spot on the map, and you'll have to replay the boss's level, and then play whatever level the boss moved to, and then fight the boss again. And if you keep losing, the boss will just keep moving around the map until you run out of lives, or you finally beat it. Which is interesting. I mean, that's a little interesting twist on it, I guess. I gotta hurry this up because I'm almost out of time and I have to get through the boss stage. That was quick. Let's choose an egg and get another one up. Over 100 points. I forget how many points it is for one up, but I guess it's not a big deal. And finally, yeah, I'll just stick with this one for now. Good old heart, who farts at his enemies, I guess. I guess it's supposed to be a tail whipping, but I can't quite understand why there's this big white spark coming out of his ass, so... You can guess what it is, what it means on your own, I don't really know. The sound is rather unpleasant, too. Let's see, there should be a pterodactyl guy here. A rideable one, not the one that takes us to another island. 
Oh. I like how these uh, dinosaurs can do double damage, except for the Elasmosaurus. That one can't because it doesn't have an attack of its own. Okay, let's hurry. We're almost out of time. I think I have just enough time to beat the first very easy boss. The dinosaurs will come with you to the boss fight, and depending on what the boss is, how it's set up, it can actually be really helpful or really, really useless. And this fight's basically over already. Yeah, that was easy. It'll get a little bit harder as you go on, especially the ice boss, but uh, that'll be for a later date. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this one goes well. And I'll announce the new Big Let's Play, even if it's not quite ready, after this one is completely finished. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.